Hello, welcome to my channel. Another update for you here. The first part of my update is I need to apologize for those of you waiting for this, how to get into BMX or how to get back into BMX, especially as an older rider series. Um, last Saturday, I was out training, riding in Cayuna, and I had a fall that I didn't think was much, but I did end up putting my arm out to catch it. And I felt a little sting kind of in my shoulder. Um, but come like Monday, it started to get really a stiff and really sore. So I'm babying it um, because I have the big Schwamigan race coming up um, this coming weekend, the Schwamigan 40. So um, not a serious injury. I think it's just like a minor sprain or something like that. So I'm thankful for that, but I just need to baby it. So that being said, I did skip the Tuesday night cyclocross race last night because I just, you know, I knew, you know, standing and doing all that arm work and climbing would uh, be hard on my shoulder and I just need to rest it. Um, and that's also why I'm not doing any of this BMX stuff that I promised. So once this Schwamigan 40 event is over, I'll get back on track with that. So just be patient with me. Um, I do plan on continuing that series. Um, so that being said, uh, I am training and training is something I haven't done in a long time, but I really want to be able to do fairly well at the Schwamigan 40. I'm not going to be competitive with other racers by any means. It's more of a personal goal, but I want to do it in under four hours. I want to feel good while doing it. I don't want to suffer. And if I don't train and pre prepare my body and prepare myself going into it, then I will, it'll just be a total suffer fest. And I want to have fun, but doing training and riding bikes and all of this, um, I used to do it all the time. And there was a point in my life, um, racing BMX, racing mountain bikes, training. And it was like, basically every weekend I was out going somewhere, doing something. I really burned myself out. And so I quit being competitive or doing competitive things. And now, as I seek to maybe get back into it, possibly BMX racing, I'm holding that off for a little bit, mostly because of COVID and the fact that you're just really packed in and crowded and spaces for BMX racing, um, whether it's staging and things like that. And there's a lot, a lot of people not wearing masks, a lot of people that aren't vaccinated and all of that stuff. And I just choose not to put myself in that environment um, until the pandemic is more or less past us. And then once that happens, I'll get back involved in that stuff. But um, for the Schwamigan 40, um, I'm training, uh, did a big ride on Sunday in Cayuna, 28 miles, um, really pushed myself, averaged a 9.4 mile per hour speed on single track, which is pretty impressive considering there's a lot of grueling climbs, a lot of technical stuff, things like that. So I was pretty happy with that knowing that with the, um, <laughs> that arm's getting tired. That's the shoulder I heard too. So I'm holding my phone and going, oh, it's really achy, but it's, it's getting there. It'll be good by Saturday. Um, and so, uh, this training is just, you know, something I haven't done in a long time, but I'm glad I'm kind of doing it. And it's really helping me get back into shape and be, feel fit again, because, um, a lot of the riding I do, I'm pretty casual about it. I'm not really pushing myself and pushing hard. Um, but yesterday, because I didn't do the cyclocross race, I got on the trainer with Zwift and just did a really gnarly climbing um, course on Zwift. And that kicked my butt, but it's good to do that. And I feel today, I feel really good. And I feel uh, like I'm pretty strong. And so that's important. And being on the trainer, I don't really have to use my shoulder at all. I mean, I'm just holding on to the handlebars a little bit, but I'm not steering or doing any of that. I'm mostly just working on my core and pedaling and legs. And that was pretty cool. So um, it's Wednesday. I have a couple days, so I'm going to kind of take it easy the next few days. Plus, I got to go do a bunch of driving around and get to cable Hayward area with my camper trailer and all of that. So that'll be happening over the next couple of days. Um, and I 
also have my full-time job where I'm working, code, all the other stuff. And I'm also a lead software engineer, so I'm leading a team. So I have to maintain this work, life, training, race balance. It's all kind of interesting. Um, but one of the things I've really noticed now that I've started doing this training and pushing myself a little harder and riding, you know, when I go out to the trails, I do more distance. I push myself a little faster and here and there um, is I feel so much better. I wake up in the morning. I have energy. I have energy right now. I'm like, it's like my metabolism is up there. I'm having to eat more food to kind of keep up with my my activity and I just feel so much better and it's a reminder for me that at age 54 I need to keep moving I need to keep doing exercise I need to keep staying active and even kind of pushing myself here and there I always want to remain maintain the fun aspect of it um so that's important to me because I don't want to burn myself out again so I got to find that balance you know working full time having fun on my bike, doing my YouTube channel, which is a lot of work in itself, especially editing videos and things like that. But I love doing it. So that's, uh, it doesn't feel like work when I'm enjoying what I'm doing, right? And then, um, and I actually enjoy my job. Software engineering is something I'm really passionate about. So that's not, doesn't feel a whole lot like work either because I really enjoy doing it, leading a team, leading a bunch of young developers, things like that so i'm in a pretty good position so i'm glad i'm getting my brain into this kind of more workout routine more active routine gives me more energy has my mood up much higher all those things so um my only message to you is that if you do feel kind of down and you feel kind of you know down and out or or low energy or whatever push through that force yourself to get out there and be active and start you know making your body do because when you get your blood flowing and get everything moving and stuff your body feels better and then everything else goes right in line your mind your mental health all of that really is uh tied to your physical health and um from my announcement i made a few months ago i am sober too and that really helps i've been sober for over five years now and not being involved in substance use and things like that has also really helped my energy and my mental health and all of that. So that's my message. Um, if you ever want to talk to me about it or chat with me about it in the comments, I'm all more free to chat. You can always go to the community tab and chat or just chat right in the comments on this video. Um, I'm very open about my progress in life and these things. And if you ever have any questions, or you want to tell your story or whatever, feel free to do it. I'm all about hearing it. Anyway, really appreciate your support from my channel. Please like and subscribe. Peace.